and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about a pen and that is a Conklin Coronet. And I don't know if I actually vowed on this channel to never buy another Conklin, but in my head I did vow to never buy another Conklin. And mainly that is because I don't like their nibs at all. So all my experience with Conklin nibs is that they have been super dry and don't like to write very well. Now, this pen that I bought, the Conklin Coronet, is one that I saw on a Reddit page called Pen Swap, and it is a Conklin with a gold nib. And the finish kind of took me in. Like all Conklins that I have, it's the finish that always gets me, the way the pen looks, beautiful. So I was like, okay, it's a 14K nib, it's not too expensive, maybe, maybe this will be an okay buy. So. Here I have Conklin Coronet with a lovely blue, blue, why am I saying blue? With a lovely brown golden material and a silver cap and a really cool clip. And I'm gonna switch a shot and talk to you about it. All right, let's do it. All right, here we are with a beautiful pen and a lovely looking finish. The Conklin Penco engraved on the body, and then this lovely, lovely faceted cap. There is some like oxidation, I'd say, on the cap, but I don't mind it. It kind of looks cool. And then we have a cap band that says Conklin, and then Coronet, and then some like moons, and a clip that if you push it here, it goes up. I kind of love this clip. It looks so functional. Um, I haven't really taken it out of the house, so I don't know how functional it is, but it should be pretty functional. And then there we have Conklin on the clip. And that is the outside of this. When we unscrew it, we get to a much smaller pen and much lighter. The cap's quite heavy pen with a tapered section that is slightly translucent and a Conklin nib. And this time it's a gold nib and it's a medium nib. When I first got this pen, um, it wasn't really clean, so I cleaned it and um, I tried to like unscrew the section, but I kept unscrewing the nib um, and I don't know, there was a lot of weirdness going on when I inked it, so I'm not looking forward to actually uninking it. I can check if I actually can unscrew. Okay, now it's, uh -oh, it's unscrewing the right thing. There's a converter here. I had to find a, conver a converter that fit. It didn't come with a converter, and the converter that comes with like the duragraph and stuff doesn't fit in this. Um, that's a screwing converter, and it doesn't go into this pen. Anyway, I found a converter and um, inked it up actually gonna I haven't written with this in a little bit um, so I'm screwing the converter up a little bit but yeah it's a lovely looking pen it's very well balanced um, the pen body is also faceted but really hard to show you guys and then um, I I guess you can post it I wouldn't post it becomes super long it's not a very confident post and also the cap is super heavy, so it becomes super top heavy. Anyway, I like a lot of parts of this pen, right? But I don't, again, don't like the nib. I thought maybe 14K nib, different writing experience, but it's just not good. I'm not enjoying it. So I'm gonna give you guys a writing sample, and then I'm gonna clean this pen out because I haven't been using it because it doesn't make me happy. What I have been considering is actually having this nib ground or worked on it in some way because it is a gold nib and like it might be worth. Anyway, okay, <laughs> there we go. That's a great success. I'm pushing it a little bit to get the flow going because one, I haven't written with it in a little bit and also it's just super dry. See? I'm being super frustrated. It is a medium. And 
I'm actually pushing on the nib a little bit as I write because otherwise I don't, this is like no pressure and then if I add a little bit of pressure it works medium nib ink is this is no pressure again diamine sargasso C which is one of my favorite inks I have it in this um, this Twisby and it is super super wet um, this is not an ink problem this is a nib problem and it is just so disappointing I want Conklin's to be good guys but I cannot for the life of me get a good experience with a Conklin <sighs> Maybe I just need to buy some brass shims and go through um, the slit, like... <sighs> but no, like, a nib should be okay out of the box. It just doesn't make me happy. Anyway, this is my look on the Conklin Coronet. It's disappointing, I know. Uh, if you have good Conklin experiences, I would love to know of them because I want to believe in this brand, but I currently don't. Um, let me know in the comments. And yeah, this is my overview of a disappointing, disappointing pen. All right, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.